hello! This is the look I'm going to create for you. That's right. This is it. This is the look. Want to see it better? Come here. A little bit of glitter. A little bit of bronze. A little bit of uh, smoky. A little bit of shimmer. A little bit of brown. A little bit of cheese. Yo, yo, yo. By the way, I think I learned by now. So if you want to see how I created said look, a la the Body Shop palette, um, keep on watching. Thanks. This is the palette we're going to start with. Um, I wanted to do a golden, warm, shiny look today. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. So, I'm just looking down seeing why I didn't have any of this out. Start with the NARS uh, Prime, Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I'm going to work on our eyes first, okay? This sample that they gave you with your 500 points perk um, from Sephora does not give a lot of product in that size, just so you know. Just so you know, go under. We're going under on both sides. Yes, I lost my nail. All my other nails are real. This one broke off on my purse and I've been putting a false one on it and it came off today. I had such so, a so sad, such a sad, it was such a sad. Sorry, moving shit around. I don't mean to swear. Moving stuff around. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> okay, using a NYX Jumbo Pencil, and this one's in French Fries. Mmm, French Fries. It's a shimmery golden brown. And I want to deepen just the line width of my eye line area here and here. Want to come a little closer? You know what's funny is I was watching a bunch of different videos today, some makeup gurus and such, and everybody self tans, and, and that's why their face is a different color than their neck. I don't self tan, but my face is a different color than my neck. There you go. I just kind of pushed it down, made a real big mess. See, mess, both sides. Panda eyes. Yeah, good, that's how we like it. Let's have a look. Where'd that product go? Smashbox uh, Cream Eyeliner in br Midnight Brown. Yes, I know. I'm using some products in a different manner. Just using a Soho London angled brush. I want to just get this packed into my eyelash area. And you'll see why in a sec. I like to do this layering products because um, when you put shadows over different shades of things, it intensifies differently on each color. It's true. Looks like I has it sad, doesn't it? I has it sad. Alright, taking that uh, Body Shop palette that is in Smoky Brown, Dawn gave this to me. Um, it was from, I think, her Ipsy bag. And I'm looking for, of course, a little flattish brush. And we're gonna take, we're gonna take the uh, lighter mid shade right here, and pat that over what we've already done here. And if you can't, you might be able to see it, but like when you get closer to, you can. It almost looks like hyperpigmentation underneath my shadow. But since I meant to put it there. We got happiness. Some women are darker around their eyelids where their eyelashes are. And I was just trying to mimic that. Because I think it makes for a beautiful... And this under here, just on the inside right here. Just right there. Using the tip of that brush. There. 
I'm just gonna swash, swash, swash. And then we're gonna take this other brown right here. And really do some duty here. Bringing it out and up, like that. Both sides. Taking that underneath this side here. Not really worrying about the mess we're making. Connect them on both sides. Grabbing for a clean brush. That's what I'll do. I'm going to take that highlight color here and do that right here. Fall out. Taking it on the inner portion also. And blending away. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Was that Enya? Did I just rock some Enya? <laughs> I was rocking the Enya, babes. That won't happen again. Okay, I'm just gonna use this bigger brush anyhow and blend browns out a little so I don't have any really harsh lines. Finally, I'm going to take a, let's see, a little filbert brush. This one happens to be an elf professional. And with the matte black, black, matte brown, we're going to really deepen right here. Really, really on underneath too. Looks a mess, don't it? Mm-hmm. chic. Taking a makeup wipe, getting all that extra fallout. There we go. Alright, let's put on my faces. I'm going to use the uh, Benefit the Poor Professional sample size I've got. Oh my gosh. So you might know by now, I got to go to the Dolly Parton concert last night at the Comerica Theater, and that woman is amazing. Okay, so she's 66. She played 11 different instruments. Well, she played for two and a half hours with only a 20 minute intermission, and there was no um, warm up band. It was all her. It was just spectacular. We're going to grab for the CoverGirl Outlet Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 and 842 Medium Beige. Back of my hand action. Make sure I get my nose because I always seem to forget my nosery. Okay, and we're using a Soho Lungeon Sponge. That's supposed to be a dupe for a beauty blender. Um, just to play with it. Cause you know, I like to play. It works fine enough. It it takes a little more. Um, you have to handle it differently. And it takes a little longer to fluff up for you. It does fine though. But nothing compares. Nothing compares to my beauty blender. Nothing compares. <laughs> I think I just scared my dogs. Yeah, this one takes, it doesn't, it doesn't blend it as fast. You really got to work it. Um, you know how the beauty blender just blurs it out right away. I got a mustache. What do you got? Nothing. Cause nothing compares to you. My NYX High Definition Photogenic Sealer. 
still don't know what the name is. Oh, CW04 beige. I'm gonna use the finger without a nail. <laughs> and back into that uh, brown. How's that look? Does that look like backed in? Back it up. I only cried three times at the concert. Mm -hmm. That's right, only. And I got to uh, hang out a little bit with the uh, drag queens who dressed up like Dolly. She talked to them a lot because they were in the very front row. One of them, the one I liked, his name was uh, Steven. But he, of course, I was like, what's your name? He's like, Steven. I'm like, no, no, no. What's your name? And he's like, oh, I'm Chloe. Some people don't know I'm a man. I'm like, uh, no, I, I don't have that issue. You are six foot four and don't pad very well. But I didn't say that. But <laughs> I can see your uh, five o'clock. Shadow. But she was beautiful. Um, she's like, yeah, I came in from Texas. I'm like, yeah, you gotta give me some makeup tips because she did some good sculpt. And he's like, yeah, I work at Mac. I'm like, oh man, lucky. That's so cool. Taking the whatever left on that shadow and just blurring it back. Blurred lines. You know you want it. It does take some use, getting used to if you want to start wearing a dramatic shadow below your eyelid. But I think the effect is just gorgeous. And then again, I think anything makeup wise is just beautiful. You really can't go wrong when it comes to makeup and me. You're like, yeah! That's beautiful. Going back into that, um, no, I want to set my powders first. Use my eye powder, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And my Secret Brightening Powder brush from Real Techniques. It's pretty funny that I only use this brush for that. Huh, makes it easier not to have to wash it all the time. Sarai, Sarai. Mm-hmm. Okay. We use my Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Face Powder and a big fluffy blush brush. This one's from Kirkland. It's not the best brush, but it does fine. It's a little it's still rough. Then I pounce it. Pounce away. And I let the excess of powder that when I do this sit on my skin. I do like a nice matte skin usually. But I think I'm gonna practice getting into that glowy look. Uh, glowado. Glow! Okay. Now I'm going back into the Body Shop palette and it came with these little tiny applicators and this one happens to be an angle brush and I'm gonna use this dark brown for my brows. Define. When Dolly Parton sang Sparrow, she sang it a cappella church style with her uh, backup singers. It resonated so beautifully. Oh my gosh. It was just, oh, she can sing. Um, we, we were sitting between two different types of fuddy duddy people. The couple next to my uh, mother, who w attended with me, was my age, or maybe probably a little younger. And I think that they came with the older man in front and his younger girlfriend. You can tell they were not enjoying themselves. In fact, the girl next to my mother kept, she was on her phone the whole night. Um, she was polite enough to use the you know reduction in the screen brightness so that, that it wasn't reflecting off of everything. But I just was like, really? And those tickets were not really that cheap. So I, I'm thinking Dad must have talked to everybody into it because he was loving that show. He was up and enjoying it. No hands bar. He was like, this is Dolly. You know, I'm doing some Claire Brow gel from Ulta. Claire Brows gel from Ulta. If you guys watched I Love Faces 1042 do her Sephora 
box favorites for 2013, um, trying them out. It was so cute because in the very end she realized that one of the products in the box was not there. She's like, what did I forget? And then she was like, my clear brow gel, my Anastasia. And she was adorbs. Just adorable. All right, I'm going to use, uh, let's see. I'm going to tight line with my Tarte by True Blood Emphasize Gel Eyeliner in black. I don't think they make this product anymore. Which is, you know, sad. Very sad. Uh. And so sitting next to me on my left was a woman, I think she was probably in her 70s, early 70s, um, must have been a school teacher one time. I think her daughter was behind her and she was in her 50s, I think, yeah. Um, just some liquid liner here. Tilt you down a little. I've got the Maybelline Line Stiletto. And she was, you know, she was eyeing my tattoo, which is pretty harmless. My tattoo is with knitting needles on it. Come on. And when the concert finally started, everybody got excited because Dolly walks out on stage and they're standing up and clapping and she's sitting down and she yells at the top of her lungs, sit down. And I was like, ooh, oh, <laughs> watch out. She's going to get you. And then the girl in front of us was taking a cell phone video and the screen was illuminated. And she yells over her shoulder, that's too bright. Needless to say, she was stoic. She st <laughs> Anytime people started clapping, she wasn't enjoying herself. I was like, why are you here? Was it just to have the experience of actually saying you could see Dolly? Now I'm gonna take this golden glitter liner from Sephora because I just felt like it. I felt like it would be beautiful on certain parts of my eyeball. Right like there. And there. Just bringing it in a little illumination. There ain't nothing wrong with glitter everywhere, is there? No. Glitter is good. All things glitter concerned. Oh, I like that. That turned out well. All right. Kim. I was going to buy just one of these today. But the lady at CVS said that they had a two-pack. So you're going to get one. It was the pr same price. Two for one. So I'm going to open mine and try it out right now for my first impressions. But I thought... Give Kim one, because you know, she likes to try new things. So, this is the Maybelline The Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara in the Blackest Black. And the brow, this thing tilts. And it's got huge fibers. I don't know if it's a fiber brush, but we're going to try it. Weird. You can see it springing. It's got like a spring. What's the purpose of the spring? Just so that you can feel like you're putting your makeup on with Tigger? Oh, a black flake. Let's see if I can get it before it really sets. Success! So that flaked. <laughs> okay. Well, I like the formula. The brush is on. That is for shizzle. I don't know why it bends, but it says it bends, and why do I want it to bend? I didn't know that I wanted a bendy brush. It's making me giggle, though, because it vibrates every time I pop up. <laughs> it's like a slinky for adults. A slinky, a slinky. You guys don't know what that is? Alright. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm gonna wear this mascara all day long tomorrow and see how it fares for me. 
I tossed out about five old mascaras because they were ready to go. So I felt like I could open a new one, and I was excited to try this one since I had two, and I wanted to give one to Kim because I'd love her so. All right, I also picked up a Berry Amore Milani Baked Blush. So, because Kim said she had gotten a Milani Baked Blush. I don't remember what color she said she got, but I wanted this one. We're not going to contour, we're just going to... <laughs> Time out! My cheeks are being tickled and I was ignoring the time of how long it took me to make my makeup this way. Because I'm used to being able to get it under 20 now, but apparently it took a lot longer for me to talk about a mascara wand. Bouncing. Well, that's okay, it's all good. You guys don't mind, right? <laughs> no smell, but I like it. I want to throw some lashes on. These are going to be, let's see, they are the Ardell 106s. Kind of spiky. Grabbing for some tweezers and some gel. Let's do this. Um, since I have it started already, I'll let you watch. That's not kind of dirty. Do you like to watch me put my lashes on? <laughs> Little slap happy. And darn it to all. I got a call from my uh, sister-in-law, Ashy Ash, my fave. She's a good girl, I love her. And I've been telling her about this salon that I go to where I get my hair and face wash and a blowout for 23 bucks. And today was the day she's like, can we go do that? And I was like, sure. But when I drove by, I forgot, and they had told me this last month, that they were going on vacation back home to Vietnam. And um, so they weren't gonna be open. And I felt really bad I had to call her. She, but then we were gonna just like hang out and go to dinner or something. And I must've been in the backyard with my dogs. I'm just letting this dry and set a little. Um, Cause I guess she came up to the door and everything and my dogs didn't even say anything. They didn't notice anyone was there. It's really bizarre. And I left my phone on the inside cause I was outside with my dogs and I was just like, why don't I need my phone? And I guess she had been here and knocked and everything and I totally missed her. And I was like, oh my heck, what the heck heck? I felt really bad, so I called her immediately a couple times, and she couldn't answer because she was already getting food somewhere. I was like, you ain't got food without me. And she goes, that's what you get for not having your phone on you. Which made me think, my husband's told me the exact same thing before. Hmm. Maybe I should keep my phone on me. But I still remember the days when you could do stuff and nobody could get a hold of you. So I didn't think it was that big a deal, you know? But I did miss out on her, but she's, you know, younger than me. So she relies on the phones. She did, uh, Dolly did sing Islands in the Stream. She sang Jolene, and she sang Coat of Many Colors, and of course Sparrow. She sang a Coldplay song. Yeah, but it was her country version. Oh, heaven let your light shine down on me. So when she sang it, it sounded more gospel. It was really neat, though. It confused me for a second. I was like, did I put this on the wrong eyeball? Do you know how they taper down um, to the smaller point for the inside of the eye? I was like, did I put that backwards? But no, I did not. I was successful in the delegation of said lashes. Grabbing from my stone lip liner pencil from MAC. I want you to see. Come back. I don't like it when you can't see. Oh, one more line. <laughs> You're not done now. And my Milani lipstick and candied toffees. I love this color. Mwah. There you have it. Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to knock you over. This is the look I did for you. I think it's really pretty. I think it's very wearable. I do. Mm. Other way. 
so I'm glad you came and visited with me. Um, I'm sure I'll keep talking more. I'm going to do a video where I get my birch box so you can see what I got there. Um, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. And uh, it ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.